the question is, can you explain why the government was unable to end the the uh, MPP when they wanted so, to? Uh, the federal court in Texas that ruled in favor of the state of Texas and Louisiana uh, declared that the Biden administration had ended MPP the wrong way in two different ways. First, it had not properly justified its decision under the Administrative Procedure Act. And there we can look back to the DACA case where the Supreme Court said the Trump administration hadn't ended DACA the right way. And very similarly, the court said the Biden administration just basically didn't go through the right process, didn't consider the right factors, and therefore had to go back to the drawing board. And so if that's all the court had said, we would be in a very different position today because the court then went further. It also said in an unprecedented holding that was later upheld by the Fifth Circuit, that not only did the Biden administration go about ending MPP wrongly, but that MPP was actually required by law, a 1997 law that was uh, had been in effect for 25 years at this point, ha actually requires the Department of Homeland Security to send people back to Mexico under some form of MPP if they can't detain every single person crossing the border. And since that has never been the case, and it has never been true that the United States could detain everybody crossing the border, what it actually meant is that every administration since the Clinton administration has violated the law by not having something like MPP. So that particular holding is completely unprecedented. It has never been the case before in law that, that we've had that. And the Supreme Court is probably going to hear that case later this term, potentially to be heard by late June. So that means that when the Justice, when the Department of Homeland Security, Secretary Mayorkas issued a new memo in October, terminating MPP again, it didn't go into effect because the court's injunction said, until you fix this detention problem, until you are detaining every person who's crossing the border without releasing people en masse, you have to have MPP, which means effectively permanently. So unless the Supreme Court reverses that decision, MPP will be a permanent feature at the US-Mexico border, which is why this case is going to be so important when we, they haven't granted the case and agreed to hear it yet, but we expect that they will. So should the Supreme Court hear that case, it will be enormously important. And if they don't, then that means MPP is here to stay permanently. Or until such a time as the number of people crossing the border goes down to like 20,000 total, which is not going to happen and has never happened in US history. Thank you. Um, and I'm gonna put this out like to answer it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping perhaps Shev has a great answer for us. Um, the question is, how can you describe um, the administration's stance on employment-based immigration? We've seen an uptick in, in a number of, of uh, audits of PERM applications. Yeah, I think um, it's been a mixed bag, um, as the case of most things in the first year of this administration. A number of really restrictive policies were overturned. So we think about the H-1B specialty occupation reg, the prevailing wage regulation, um, the H-1B wage selection lottery. So a number of those things were overturned as well as um, some of the more restrictive uh, administrative policies such as the computer programmer memo um, and the employer employee memos. So that has actually resulted in a significant number more of H-1B applications, for example, being approved because of that. Um, but at the same time, we are seeing more audits, um, certainly than we have seen in the past um, two years because of COVID, um, we are seeing an uptick. It's probably a balance of the adjudications are lowering because the courts have overturned many of these policies. Um, and so there's back end review of it. I think that we are in a wait and see mode. We do expect that this administration will um, implement more regulations. There's regulations coming down the horizon that will, again, tighten some of the employment-based uh, rules to ensure that workers are protected just as employers are able to get um, their necessary employees and that wages are um, fair for both American workers and um, foreign workers. Mm -hmm.